What I've got here is a laser thermometer. It's absolutely ideal for checking the temperature of chocolate as you're tempering it. It's very important that you stick within the guidelines of tempering chocolate if you want the best results. What we're actually looking for is extremely shiny chocolates without any fat bloom. We'll set the microwave. Uh, I've set it on a medium setting and I'm going to give it 50 second bursts to begin with. But as it starts to melt, I'll decrease the amount of time that I'll leave it in the heat. And the idea is to make sure that the chocolate never exceeds 45 degrees centigrade because this is milk chocolate. Once the chocolate's actually uh, heating through and we're getting to temperature, I've got a little bowl separate here of chocolate which I'm going to drop into it after to see this. And what happens when you see that this cold chocolate goes into the hot chocolate and takes the temperature down to the temperature at which we need to use this. And in this instance it's 32 to 33 degrees centigrade. Right, what I've done is now added the uh, cold chocolate to the hot chocolates. We reach 45 degrees and I'm taking the temperature down by mixing the cold chocolates in. The temperature of the chocolate's gone down to 28 now. What I need to do is get it back up to 32. So what I've got is a small pan of warm water, not boiling hot, just hand hot. And I'm just stirring it up till it gets to 32 again. Um, now what we've done, we've actually put the orange on the mould. And now the uh, milk chocolate is ready to go. So very quickly, what I'm going to do is drop the chocolates on. Okay. Make sure it's all in there. Slip, kind of make sure it's clean if we can. Try not to make too much mess, which is not easy. Basically, you fill the mould, just go around the side and then tilt it out. And ideally, give it a tap. And if you tap it, you take any air bubbles out of it. You put it onto the cellophane, that way down. Now, don't worry if you've got a little bit of extra chocolate in there, because as the chocolate collects at the bottom, it gives you a very nice grip to take the egg out after it's ready. This is a professional mould. It's a very robust plastic, and it's quite strong. Um, they're quite expensive to buy, but if you go on eBay, you'll probably pick one up for about eight quid second hand. If you go to some of the chocolate companies, you'll pay in excess of £60 for one of these. Mainly. So what I'm doing, I'm just using a little piping bag just to pop the uh, little mini eggs in. Now again, they could be filled, but these are so small, they're probably going to be out all right just as a solid chocolate item. It's another new one. Okay, so I've got a few of them. Just polishing this mould again, just to make sure there's a nice shine on them. And again, these professional moulds are a lot easier to use than the plastic ones. And the plastic ones are a bit bendy. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I'm just pouring the chocolates into the moulds. Right, just filling them up completely down this side. Chocolates in the moulds, we've got a nice orange effect. What we're actually looking for is for the chocolate to set. Now if it's been tempered properly, it's set at room temperature. What you don't want to be doing is putting it in the, free, the fridge if you can help this. Because if it goes in the fridge, when it comes out of the fridge, it actually gets condensation on it from the heat of the kitchen. And that can affect the quality of the shine. So we're looking for, you'll see it change colour ever so slightly, it'll become a bit cloudy, the shine will disappear, and that's a sign of the chocolate shrinking away from the mould itself. And once it shrinks away from the mould, it should come out relatively easily. At this stage, you really need to be patient. In fact, if you let... This is one of the small eggs, it's got a nice shine on it, which is fine, and it works well. It's not been rejected because it's got a lot of fat bloom on it, which is the separation of the fats, and it doesn't look very nice. 
The egg's ready now. Um, if it's shrunk away from, you can see it's actually shrunk. And it's, it's quite uh, dull in colour. And you can see that it'll come out. There's no vacuum or anything there. And you just take the egg out carefully. Now you mustn't put your fingers all over it because it's got a nice shine on it at the moment, which makes a good shot. You just pop it down there ready for use. What I'm doing is just using a knife just to scrape down the side and I'm just trying to scrape the edge away without making too much mess. I'm going to cement the two eggs together. This is the easiest way of doing it to be honest. I'm just putting a little bit of chocolate on the paper and I'm just spreading it out the size of the egg. Okay. You don't want it to set, touch it with the chocolate and then you join the two together.